Hello everyone, this is Karen and thank you for joining me for yet another prize unboxing. <laughs> so uh, lately I've had a lot of luck and after Malami Cards giveaway I also won Alina Gallo's and I was like, oh my god, so much luck. Um, so I, I was really, really happy. Uh, I have done an unboxing and first impression video for Alina's uh, uh, set. I will leave the links uh, up here and in the description uh, box below. And uh, so when I saw that she launched uh, um, a mini uh, a mini pigment set for Earth Tones, I was like, uh, oh yeah, I really need to join this giveaway just to you know try to win it. And if not, I will just. Yeah, buy it. But uh, Lady Luck wanted me to have it apparently, so it has arrived and uh, I could not resist. I opened it already, but uh, I will show you what was in the box because uh, I want to share it with you. So, mm. uh, there is an actual box, but uh, um, I will just uh, take this. Let me put this here. So, um, this is uh, a picture of a city, and uh, it is a city I have yet to visit, uh, even though I live like uh, four hours uh, of a uh, car ride away from it. But uh, one day, one day I will go, I swear. So, uh, it says, uh, Hi Jada. I guess we should reveal that as well. My name is not Karin. Um, my, name is, my name is actually Jada. Uh, so excited for you to have our Earth Pigment Mini set. We put in a couple small extra goodies and they are good. Uh, thanks for your support and happy painting. All the best, Alina and Giuliano. Okay, thank you Alina. So happy, so so very happy about this. Okay, so let's unbox everything and... Uh, uh, okay, so... Yeah! I can make a mess out of everything. Alright, so... Um, some of her cards. Uh, this one is actually one of the pictures she has on Instagram. I will also leave all the links to her information in the description box and this is uh, um, all over contact info. So let's put them here. Also, oh, she has started to make paint brushes. <laughs> you can see that she engraved this Alina Gallo Sisi, and it's uh, um, the same brand Tintoretto as the uh, the travel size uh, one that I have on the other set, and this one is also size six. Um, so this is going directly into my pencil case because I can never have enough brushes, and that is my curse. Uh, but I wanted to keep on using the mop brushes, but you know what? I'm going to use this for swatches. There we go. You're going to be used for a later video. Okay, so, um, swatches, uh, or actually dots. Rosso Colano, Rosso Venezia, so, uh, two reds, and the green number, Italy. Um, other Italian earth pigments we are in love with, they will become part of a larger collection of earth colors. Awesome, can't wait for you to finish doing the pants, basically. Um, since I do guess that you have the pigments already uh, ready. Uh, then uh, Green Earth, Terra Verde. And uh, this looks like white. Get out. Okay, so uh, they also package their, their sets in this marble paper and uh, uh, the last one I asked for the blue one. But I have to say that this one is also awesome. They, I think they commissioned it for, from another Assisi um, manufacturer, but uh, all the information about this uh, is on Alina's site, so I will direct you to it. Um, Green Earth Blend by Zicchi. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so Zicchi is another Italian manufacturer of handmade watercolors, and uh, he's based in... Uh, uh, What's the English name? Firenze, anyway. Um, and 
I've always had trouble navigating his site, so I never purchased them, but one day I will go to Florence and I will get a set of those because I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to those. Um, and then titanium white. I'm really not used to using white, but uh, I will give it a shot. <laughs> All right, so let's put this here. Uh, PG-23 gum arabic binder and yes! <laughs> they have the magnets! Awesome! Alright, so uh, I know that these are supposed to be like opened and um, taped to something but I, I have them like flying around in my drawer. Um, okay, so this is the mini set and uh, <sighs> Okay, sorry, I'm really, really happy about this. Okay, it slides for... Also, this paper is awesome. It's not marbled, but uh, it has uh, that uh, thick feeling that uh, watercolor is like. Okay, so uh, another card. Let's put it here. And uh, this would be perfect for an ASMR video. So carefully packaged. Okay, this is... <laughs> this is so cute. It's so awesome. All right, let's put this away. So um, this is just the mini box, and uh, uh, if you go to the site, uh, uh, this set uh, comes in earth tones, which I will now show you. But uh, uh, she also has uh, the um, the primary, the split primary set in this uh, same box. So uh, you can actually. Purchase this teeny tiny thing and it's so really cute Always with the marble paper that uh, I, I, I'm I'm starting to think that I need to purchase this for myself like a very big sheet to make a poster out of and just uh, put it up in in my room Okay, so ah. Okay you, We also get uh, a mini swatch card uh, and the colors are uh, Rossiana, Morellone, Green Earth Cool, Verdaccio, Pompeii Red, and Burnt Umber. Always uh, has the Chicken Hazard 06. All right. Um, I work in a hospital, and I have to say, I've had to um, do anesthesia to kids older than six who put things uh, in their mouth and uh, up their noses and everywhere. One of them was uh, like 45, so uh, please don't put this thing up in your orifices, please. Um, <clears throat> all right, uh, they have uh, um, wait. okay. So this is the Morellone. They have the uh, the metallic, uh, sorry, the magnetic uh, um, square that uh, attaches thing to other thing that are made of metal. Um, okay, so uh, let's take all of them out and uh, try to preserve the order of things. Okay, so let's put this here. So we have Rosian PY43 and here. Then we have Morellone and this one looks a bit like... Uh, um, okay, I cannot remember the name of the pigment, but I have seen this shade before and I love it. Uh, PR101... Yeah, Morellone. Let's put it here. Because when I want to, sw uh, I want to swatch them, but uh, um, I kind of have anxiety having them all together because I don't want to contaminate each other, so uh, you will forgive me. I will uh, do a three and three, and then uh, I will let them dry and put them back, uh, put them all back. Then we have Green Earth, Terra Verde, PG-23. There we go. Plop. Um, and this one was uh, uh, also Green Earth, but uh, it is the cool tone. So I will have to uh, compare these two, but there's, I think, yeah, they're the same pigment, but you can see that one is uh, a lot more yellow and the other is a lot more blue. 
Okay, uh, this one has no place, let's put it here, along with the white. Then we have a Verdaccio. Uh, PBK7 and PBK6. Uh, Isn't BK black? How do you get uh, a green from two black pigments? No idea. She's a wizard. Or she's a witch. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, let's put this here. Here. I really hope I remember everything to put uh, back together. If not, uh, this is my life. Um, so, Pompeii Red, PR101. And then Burnt Umber. Ah, yeah. Burnt Umber? Yes, sorry. Um, PBR7. Okay. There we go. Okay, so um, I want to just for a second take out uh, the uh, the twelve half concept just to. Okay, so um, I do have both sets. Okay, so uh, one thing I wanted to say uh, between the uh, twelve half pound set and the uh, earth tone set is that there is no overlapping of. Uh, uh, of paints aside from one, which is the burnt uh, uh, burnt umber, I believe. Yeah, the burnt umber. However, I have uh, um, I have checked the two swatches on the uh, on the box, and one of them is definitely a little bit redder. So I will have to check them more in depth. The best laid plans of my son man. <laughs> so um, I'm sorry if this video is looking a bit disjointed, but um, yeah, uh, my nephew is kind of here, there, everywhere. So I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to cut uh, him out basically. Okay, so let's go in with the uh, with the swatches and uh, uh, let's see how they look. All right, so uh, the first one I'm going to uh, take a look at is the Rose Sienna. And yeah, pretty color. Okay, let's put a little bit more. There we go. That's a very nice color. Okay. Then, ah. Uh, this one is the one that I'm really excited about, the Morellone. Oh, yes. Oh, this color is awesome. Yes. Okay, so uh, if I had to pick one color for a monochrome picture, this one would definitely be it. Um, then let's go in with, uh, what's this one? Green Earth Cool. Okay, maybe it needs a little bit more water to reactivate. Let's abuse this paint a little bit more. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so this looks like a very transparent version of chromium oxide, I have to say. And uh, texture-wise, this one is the uh, hardest one over paint so far. And it also looks uh, kind of a bit hard uh, to touch. And let's go in with the uh, what? Verdaccio. This one is supposed to be the olive one. Oh, and it is olive, <laughs> very olive. Uh, this is like 
the perfect landscape palette. You don't need to mix anything here. You just uh, you have your shades already perfect. Then uh, what's this? Pompeii red. I really need to go back to Pompeii this year or someone. Oh, this is a very beautiful brick red. Oh yes, beautiful color. Then what's left? Burnt Humber. Let's go here with Burnt Umber. Burnt Umber. Okay, then we will try the... Uh, this one is the green. The PG-23 Cool Shade. Yes, it is basically the same pigment as this one, but uh, this one is the cool shade, this one is the, uh, well, not warm shade, but it's a little bit more yellowish, and this one is a little bit more blue. But, oh my god, I'm loving this pigments! And then we'll go in with the, uh, with dots. Come out, dots. Okay, we have the... Ercolano red, which is kind of fitting that she has Pompeii and Ercolano, both downs went uh, uh, down. Oh, okay, you really need to let me know when you uh, get this out because uh, this is me, th this is my color, this is my jam. Really, <laughs> when this comes out, I'm the first one to get it. Uh, then we have Venice Red, which I'm supposed to love more because uh, uh, I live near Venice.